Okay, so now I have two modules on my page. I have my people module and I have my stats module. And I'm also including PubSub JS, even though it's not getting used yet. So there we go. And so you can see whenever I delete something, then my people gets updated. Test, test one or 21. There we go. So people is automatically updating. Here's how that's happening. I have a very basic stats module that basically just has a set people method that it's exposing. So set people is right there. And whenever set people gets fired, it's going to update with the amount of people you have and it's going to render. Excellent. And it's also going to console log. I could probably take that out. There we go. So that's basically what's happening in our people module is calling stats.setPeople whenever it renders. So it's calling set people. It's passing it the length of people we have. It's receiving that, setting it up here. And then it's going to render, which is going to spit out our mustache template. Okay, so that's basically our module. So once again, we don't want this to be coupled to the stats module. We want to decouple that. And so now all people has to do is it just has to go events dot emit. Uh, let's go people changed. People changed. We're going to emit a people changed event. And we're just going to add people dot length to it. Excellent. So let's go ahead and pull up our console here. And I'm going to now subscribe to that event. Let's make a uh, Let's go events dot on people change. Let's just make a function here, count. And I'll just alert count. There we go. So now I've subscribed to this event. So now we should get an alert whenever this count changes. Yep, now we have one person. Now we have two people. Let's go ahead and add another listener here. Um, let's console log it. Let's console log that account. So now when this changes, I'm going to alert account. Yep. And then it's going to console log an account. Yep. Test two, alert two, and then console logs two. Great. So let's go ahead and now all we have to do is go into our stats module. And then we can actually forget this whole API. We don't have to expose an API anymore. All we have to do is bind the event. So instead of binding to a DOM event, we're just going to bind to a pub sub event. Events on people changed. We're going to do set people. There we go. So now set people will fire. I don't need to do the underscore render anymore because basically I have no more API. Uh, and so now whenever people changed, uh, we're going to fire set people and set people is going to fire with the people length that we're emitting. So let's go ahead and check this out and see if it works. Uh-oh, render's not defined. Yep. That's what I get for changing my code on me. So look at that. It automatically starts up with two. If I delete that, it goes to one. Delete that, it goes to zero. Excellent. So now what's awesome about this is stats does not know where this event comes from. There could be 20 other modules triggering this people changed event, and it doesn't matter. Uh, and people does not care about the stats module. It doesn't care about any of the other modules. It's just emitting this event with this data. And so anybody else can listen to that. And let's say later on this stats module, you know what, I actually am going to change my mind. I'm going to, I'm going to, um, expose an API here on the stats module. I'm going to expose a destroy here. So let's go ahead and go return destroy. And let's make a destroy function here. So now this function, this uh, module can be destroyed if we want it to. And so this is going to be this function here. So whenever we call destroy, that'll destroy this. So what, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to Let's say I'm going to take that whole stats module and I'm going to remove it. And then I'm, so that's modules going to poof, disappear from my page. I'm going to unbind my event. Events off people change set people. So now I'm no longer listening uh, to that event anymore. So let's go ahead and check this out. It's working. It's working. And let's destroy this guy. Stats destroy. Oh, that's gone and nothing is listening anymore. So now my people module is completely working just the same 
this thing is gone from the page and my people module doesn't blow up. It doesn't explode because I'm not listening to that module in the first place. I don't care if that module is on the page or not. I'm simply emitting events and whether that module is there or not, everything's going to work just fine. So that's your pub sub pattern. That's a great way to scale your apps even further.